today I'm going to do something I haven't done in a little while and that is a tool review. Uh, every now and then I come across a tool that I think is like really really useful and really helpful and I like to share it with you guys and kind of go through the process of like what I was thinking, how you use it, any problems that might occur, that kind of good stuff. And I just want to let, let you know that I'm not paid to do these. I just do them just for fun. So, you know, if you go buy one of these tools after I'm done, I don't get a cut of that or anything. So I'm not biased, not biased at all. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about a turntable. And I'm sure a lot of you guys do this. You have your little turntable. This is the same Wilton turntable I've been using for seven years. So, you know, it's seen some uses. And in general, you know, you're making cakes that are like six inches, eight inches, and there's not really any problems. And I don't know if you guys use the upside down method. If you don't, you need to get on that because that's where it's at and you've been living under a rock. But anyway, when you're smoothing the buttercream, you take your uh, bench scraper and you hold it up and down and you smooth it on the sides. And because you've got this flat surface that your bench scraper is sitting on, you're able to get this perfectly straight up and down, sharp corner, all that jazz. Um, but what's important is that you need to have a surface for your cake to sit on, which is fine if you're doing an 8 inch or a 6 inch cake. But what happens when you start getting to like 10 inches, 12 inches? I mean, now we're starting to have a problem. There's nothing for this to sit on, right? So if you do what I do, you take like a huge cutting board or something, and you set that on top of your, your uh, cutting board, and voila, we have, you know, a, just enough room, basically. And this is a 12 inch cake. So basically, all, in all the years that I've been doing cakes, if I had anything larger than a 12 inch cake, I did not do the upside down method. I'd have to, to just kind of spend, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but like hours trying to get the buttercream perfect because I am not a good buttercreamer. I am the fondant girl. I use the upside down method. If I don't have the upside down method, I am lost. So, you know, the board is really important to me. One of the problems with using the cutting board, uh, you know, it kind of works, but the problem is, is that it slides around on top of the surface of the cutting board. So when I'm working, Sometimes I get off to the edge a little bit and whoops, I accidentally tip over my cake a little bit. That has happened to me many, many times. Secondly, this is like so hard to wash. Uh, I don't know what it is about this surface, but the buttercream and the ganache gets all like in this surface texture and it's just a, such a pain to wash. So that's sort of like the problem with the cutting board method. And I gotta show you guys this new tool that my friend Jessica Harris showed to me and I, at first I was like, oh, what is this thing? I don't, I don't even know if I would use this. You know, I wasn't really that excited about it and then I used it and it was like, mind explosion. And that is the turntable expander. It looks ginormous. Um, it just comes in this very simple box. It's from Innovative Sugar Works. Uh, uh, Casey Lackey is the mastermind behind these amazing tools. And, uh, you know, I kind of seen them around and was like, you know, what's the big deal? I, I didn't really pay much attention to it. Thought it might be complicated to set up or, you know, wasn't worth the money. Take it out of the box. Looks like a trash can lid. <laughs> but uh, I was like, oh, you know, that's kind of cool. So this is supposedly works with any turntable. Well, that's cool. Take my seven-year-old turntable, pop that right in the center, and it's got this lip right here, so it doesn't move around. Like, wow, that's really cool. Uh, so now I've immediately got rid of the problem of my uh, cutting board slipping around, right? And this fits most standard turntable sizes. I didn't realize this, but most turntables are this same size. So if you have an Ateco or, you know, whatever, you can use it with this extender. So, boom. We've got like a giant work surface and it has these really helpful lines in here so you can easily line center you know your tiers exactly in the middle whatever you want to do and when you get to like the bigger sizes tons of room tons of room i could easily even put a 14 inch in here and still have plenty of room to be doing my upside down method it's not heavy this weighs like a quarter of the weight of this heavy piece of plastic here. So when I'm doing my upside down methods, easily flip this over, no big deal. It's totally easy to handle. And it's a 
nice smooth surface so it just has like a few grooves in it no big deal but I can wet wash this off in like a second and then I just store this right below my table right here easy peasy I mean this is just one of those things where as soon as I use this I was like why does this not exist why have we gone all of these years suffering and using things that only kind of sort of work and you know don't work quite right and um, the, actually the first time I used this was with a sheet cake. A sheet cake is one of those things that is just a pain in the butt for me to do. I never like doing them because I have no way to really do the upside down method with this board even because the sheet cake takes up pretty much the whole board. So I was able to use the upside down method with this exter turntable extender, no problem. Did it faster than I've ever done before. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, Saving time is saving money. So I think this is like $39. That's like less than what I pay to go out to dinner with my husband for one night. For something that is going to last you probably just as long as this has lasted me or longer. I mean, there's no moving parts to break. There's nothing complicated about this and yet it is so genius. So that's it. That's my review. I love this thing. Um, I absolutely think that everybody in the world should have one. I'm going to give one away. So I want you to share this video, spread the love of the, the amazing turntable ex extender, leave yourself a comment uh, down in the comment section below this video, and uh, I'm going to choose one randomly to, to bless them with the beautiful turntable extender and make your life so much better. So tell me why you need a turntable extender and I shall choose one and bestow one on thee. <laughs> anyway guys uh, if you want to just go and buy one I've got the link to the website down there in the description um, hopefully you uh, appreciate this as much as I do and if you want to keep using your cutting board go for it like I'm not hating on the cutting board method but I'm just telling you from somebody who has suffered with the cutting board method for years this is worth it I'll talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching